All right, guys, this is Sean from Ford Performance Racing School. Give us your Instagram. Uh, I'm Sean Humphreys at Top Elite. All right, he's going to give us an overview of the old school GT here. Here we are. We got our original old school GT350 back in the day when these were out. People wanted to full car, wanted to be fast. And this is one of our local guys from Sandy, Utah, gave us this to the show. And just to, so we can actually prove that this is our real one fiberglass hood. Wow. GT350, serial code. Is. Started off as a K, K series car. So she's about as real as it gets. Wow. And uh, everything inside, radio delete, the wood steering wheel, everything they had back then. Yep. Not so uh, ergonomic now, yep. but it was cool in its day. Okay. What about like engine specs and stuff, horsepower, all that good stuff? Uh, this one was the little 289, so it wasn't a real powerhouse. It's yep. just that the cars were light and nimble back then. Okay. You know, they tended to sway and slide around, so you really had you had to be a driver. Yeah, right, right. Okay. You know, the four-speed long pro shifter. This does not have a little shorty shifter like you would see in a modern car today. Yeah, oh, wow. You see that shifter. Oh, yeah. sticks way up. Yep. Look at the size of that steering wheel. Look at that. Nice big wooden steering wheel. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. like putting your hand in a blender when that thing's spinning. <laughs> oh my god, I can imagine. <laughs> oh yeah, look at those plates. Uh-huh. Oh my god. So yeah, so we got our, our original girl here, and then we got our newest generation girl. When everything from uh, hydraulic oil filled shocks yep. to magnetic ride, fully adjustable. Sweet, look at that. Yep. The old school and the new school in the same picture. Still got the Shelby wheels on it, everything. Oh wow, original wheels. All the way over to our 1966 GT40 that raced at Sebring with Tom Baby. Would you mind showing us that one real quick? I do not mind. All right. This is a pre-production. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'll show you. This is a pre-production version. Okay. It's car 14. Oh wow. But PP, it's actually before they were even pre production. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Before they were even available to the public, we had our cars and this was one. Wow. And then All right, look at this beauty. We got yeah, as pretty as it gets. Yeah. The curvy lines, uh, the cars that, you know, wow. That made little boys want to be race car drivers. Yeah, right. What year is this one? 1966. 66, wow. It's got a 289 in it. 289. With all of those parts. Oh, cool. You can tell this car back in its day. Yep. There's no frills. Look at that. I'll take no frills any day. <laughs> yeah, right hand drive, that seat belts. You can see how the fuel tanks were on both sides, keeps the car even. Oh, wow. Oh. You can see how the roof actually fit into the into the doors. Yeah. The bump for yep. the tall drivers like Dan Gurney in the day. That's why oh, cool. the Gurney bubble came from. All right, for tall guys. Cool. Yeah. So AJ Foy, all those big guys, that's how they did it. That's how they fit in these little teeny cars. Now, why is the uh, steering wheel on the right side? This car was actually raced in Europe, so it was okay. also a Canadian uh, guy that owned it. So you can see it's got all of the, the dual, dual Weber carts, everything on it. So it was, uh, in its day, it was modern. You were saying they won at Sebring? This one, yeah, actually ran at Sebring, 1966. Also raced at Watkins Glen, Silverstone. Wow. Uh, yeah, it was uh, quite, a, quite a car, and like I said, just like it was back in the day. So. Yep, beautiful. These classic lines never go out of style. They nice. Real knockoffs. You can see somebody changing a tire with a lead hammer, you know. Oh my god. Awesome. Yep. All right, thanks, brother. Appreciate it. Oh, no problem. Thanks for coming to visit with us.